I know you're thinking it. Fiends. Welcome back. Another week, another lazy person crockpot meal. So this time, I'm trying out cowboy casserole. Once again, I don't remember how I found this one exactly, but it sounded good at the time, so I thought I could try it out. You can see our variety of beans and <laughs> other things is pretty good. So one thing you'll notice, I decided to do ground turkey instead of ground beef because turkey is just a little bit healthier than beef is. So I like making these more on the healthy side, even though looking at some of this other stuff, you're putting in a lot of cheese and all this. So let's just not worry about that, okay? For the side, I'm gonna be having some baked asparagus. It's gonna be pretty good. I thought of a kind of obscure recipe for that, so we'll see how that goes. And then our total, before I forget, for all of this is $24.28. So this should give us a good amount of food. It'll be really nice, so let's go ahead and start clearing everything off. And our first thing we need to do is uh, cook the turkey in the pan, obviously, since that always seems to be the case. So let's go ahead and get that going. As usual, you want to drain the excess oil once you're done, too. Luckily, this is 99% lean, so it shouldn't have too much in the end. Once that done, now we need to cut up the potatoes. So the recipe says to dice them, but being me, I'm going to thick shred them. That way it puts a little more consistency in there. We'll see how this turns out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's done. We'll get started on the onion. <laughs> Why do onions hate me? <laughs> vegetables are ready we can go ahead and get all these cans open so I'm gonna do that and I will join you in a second so now before I begin I'd like to go over all the modifications I made to this recipe because at the bottom of the uh, the link in the description there are some suggestions to kind of modify how to do it so I followed along with those the first one is using cream of mushroom instead of cream of chicken. I thought that doing both chicken and turkey would be a little weird, so I decided to do mushroom because that'll give it a more distinct flavor, essentially. And it steers away from putting too much like meat flavoring in there. I also added in the can of, where are they? The can of black beans and the can of corn. The corn is the only one I drained. Everything else we're going to leave as is for the recipe because you definitely don't want corn water in your casserole. And then of course for the tomatoes, just like in my previous recipes, I substituted the tomatoes and green chilies for just the tomatoes. And then I also added in another can of hatch green chilies because you can never have too many green chilies. As far as the seasonings go, I doubled up on... <laughs> I doubled up on everything because like some of the previous recipes, when you only put in one teaspoon of seasoning for a large pot, that's not very much. So I barely get any flavor enhancement from that. So for the recent ones, I've been doubling up on all of them just to give it a little better flavor kick. There was also a suggestion to add in some chili powder. So I went ahead and put in a teaspoon of chili powder too. Our seasonings here are two and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning because I don't have any oregano, so I just added a little bit more 
a, a little bit more of this Italian seasoning. Then two salt, one pepper, and one chili powder. And the joke's on me because I just remembered I didn't actually put the pepper in. Where'd it go? Let me do that now. Okay, now we are ready. I'm gonna start off with these kidney beans. That way I can line the bottom before putting the meat in. Then we just add everything else. Another note, I also decided to use the red potatoes instead of the regular potatoes. So I did six small ones instead of three large ones. That's why there were so many. That's a lot of stuff. I don't know if it's gonna stay in there. I guess we'll find out. So now I'm gonna stir it up a little, but we want to put it on either eight hours on low or four hours on high. So depending on how much time you have, feel free to choose whichever. Now I will see you in a few hours. Yeah, so I forgot the garlic, so I'm putting that in now. Once our final cook time is over, we get this whoosh. There's still one step left that we have to do, and that's of course putting the cheese on. So I'm going to do that. So the way this works is that when you're serving this to other people, you should put the cheese on top. But since I'm just doing this for myself, I'm going to mix it in so that it's evenly distributed. The bag of cheese I have here is four cups. This recipe calls for one and a half. I rounded that up to two, which would just be half the bag here. So I'm going to guess half of the bag, I guess. I have no idea. And then for me, I'm just gonna stir that in. But for all of you, you'd spread that out, let it melt in, and then you're good. And as far as these things go, these are just the leftover toppings from last time. I thought I could use these to top it too, as well as the extra cheese that's left. So, yeah. There it is. Our bowl of cowboy casserole. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try some. And if I die, I guess you'll know because you won't hear any other videos from me. So, good luck trying it out. Thanks for watching.